It's our choice and we are not forced. Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum assalam. <laughs> Today we have a very special guest with us. Shiza Mansoor. Beautiful, amazing. <laughs> welcome to my channel Thank Shiza. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Uh, let's learn a uh, little bit about uh, Shiza first before we dive into our discussion. Um, I Since the topic is Pakistan, yeah. I'll tell you that I, I was born in the US and I stuck around for 10 years, moved around until I moved, my family decided to move back to Pakistan, you know, because a lot of Pakistani are like, you know, immigrant families, they want to like reintroduce their children into the family that like the culture and get an understanding of um, the values they grew up with, you know? So eventually I found my way back to Pakistan. Let's uh, dive into our topic today. So the question is, the question is, is it necessary for women in Pakistan to wear a hijab or a head covering? So without further ado, I'd like to ask Shiza, how do you feel about this repetitive, stereotypical question that is, that is frequently asked when we meet someone from Western individuals? How does it make me feel? Yes. <laughs> for me, it, it makes me feel uh, so uh, unknowledgeable they are sometimes like they always project media news over us social media over us like whatever social media shows them so when someone asks me it just hurts me that we should educate people about pakistan at least i'm not gonna talk about other middle eastern countries but i'm gonna talk about south asian country like pakistan and where i'm from so please i don't i try not to feel a hat or have a you know or or assume something. I like to assume positively whenever somebody asks me that question because I, I think it usually comes from a place of ignorance. But it's it's not, it's sometimes not their fault. It's just that's also what U.S. media kind of um, it doesn't portrays. It, yeah, exactly, Portress. exactly. It doesn't. It's, it's almost like they don't care. Exactly. Right? If they they don't care enough. If they cared enough there would be more than that. Yeah, place. and most of the Western people think that hijab is forced. Mm -hmm. It's not forced. Come on, mm -hmm. stop telling that to people <laughs> and stop asking that question from us. Yeah, well, it's it's a personal choice. It's a preference. Um, I understand, like, you know, I've been asked that question too. You know, people are like, I, I have a very diverse circle of friends and they will be like, you know, they like to daydream. Like, okay, what if, what if I come and visit you in Pakistan when you're visiting Pakistan? And I'm like, come. Come, yeah. come visit. And Just come. My we girlfriends will, you know, sorry yeah. to tell you, up, my, all, girl, my girlfriends will be like, well, how, how should we dress? And I think when you're visiting a country like Pakistan, the good, the, the best uh, way to go about it is just think of modesty. And yeah. this is something my dad taught me too. It's, um, it's a form of, um, when we think of hijab, we think of it very literally. A lot of yeah. people do. But it's not, you don't have to take it literally. In yeah. Pakistan, it's a choice. It's a yeah. part of your cultural, religious identity, or it's just how your family is. It's yeah. family to family thing. I was gonna um, tell you about this thing my dad um, taught me when I was growing up. And he says, modesty, it's all in the eyes. It's all in, it's in your actions. It's in how you act. It doesn't, you know, somebody could be wearing a burqa and nothing underneath. Oh yes. Like <laughs> but that's, that's again taking kind of literally, I think. Yeah. It's in your mind. It's in your mind. It's in your yeah. actions. If yeah. you were, because out there, like in Pakistan, you know, when like a girl goes to the market, there are all these guys just staring. Staying it it doesn't matter if they're wearing a burqa or yeah. not. They will, it doesn't matter. It's not a figure hugging. What clothes fabric. you're wearing, it's on your mind what you're thinking about a woman. Hijab is a way, it's, it's a way of, I, I would say, how you look at someone. Yes. And hijab is not something for other people. Mm -hmm. Hijab is for something for yourself, yourself and Allah. I really like that. Allah is should come on top of everything. I like the I like the I like that you said that because it's 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 about how you act. Yes. You know? How you it's act, just... how you dress yourself beautifully. And I I legit believe personally mm -hmm. and uh, a person who wears hijab, mm -hmm. they glow. Mm -hmm. 
they actually glow from their face. I don't know what's that. It's because you, it's can't, magic. See you can't see that they're having a bad hair day. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Or spiritually enlightened, yeah. there's you something say about it's, it. It's yeah. Some norm, maybe. yeah, but many women choose to wear hijab mm -hmm. as part of the religious beliefs in Pakistan, and and we respect that. Mm -hmm. uh, they be they believe it is a way to show respect for Allah and to maintain their mm -hmm. spiritualness for themselves. Yeah. So the vast majority of women in Pakistan choose to wear hijab out of their own free will. Thank you, Shiza, for sharing your thoughts and experiences. Thank it's you. important to shed light on this stereotypical, annoying question uh, and address them head on. Uh, can you uh, can you ask my viewers to like, subscribe, and follow my channel, please? Like, subscribe, follow Fizan's channel. Thank you. <laughs> See you on my next video. Bye.